I thought I would show you, uh, I picked up the other day, well yesterday at the book nook, the 29 volumes of the, um, the comedy of, the, the comedy human, or it's, how's it go? <laughs> Let me see. Let me get down here. Let me see. It's called... My mind went blank, you know. I'm... Scenes from the Parisian life of Comedy Humane by Honor de Bozac. Bozac. So I picked up 29 volumes yesterday. At the book nook, a bunch of old books came into the store and I asked the lady if I could buy them. She gave me a good price and so I bought them. The complete works of Bozak are 40 volumes. They go for seven to eight thousand dollars, but this did not cost me that. So um, I thought I'd show them to you. I thought about showing them individual volumes, but uh, I I thought that'd be too cumbersome, so I just thought I'd just show you a little video of them. This is a uh, this is my Bozak collection I had before, like you know, history of the thirteen. These are some penguin classics I had. The uh, some of these. <laughs> I have in hardback now, but I just thought I'd show them to you. See, you have Sons of the Soil, Lesser, Bourgeoisie, Betrix. Just goes on and on. I'm, I'm not going to go through all of them. But some are very famous, like Cousin Betty. Some are philosophical works, some are historical. Historical mystery. Uh, so I was kind of pleased to get them. I'm looking for the works of Edgar Allan Poe. I'm looking for the works of Victor Hugo. Below this shelf is my William Gass collection. I just see I have William H. Gass. His the text. The Temple and Text, these are essays. The Test of Time, essays by William H. Gass. This is came out recently, the William H. Gass Reader. Life Sentences by William H. Gass. Literary Documents and Accounts. Uh, the Word world with within the word William H. Gass essays. This is his famous novel, The Tunnel. This is his other novel. This is by Gaddis. This is Frolic of His Own by Gaddis. Recognitions by William Gaddis. I have two volumes of recognition by Gaddis. And these are J.R. by William S. Gaddis. So, this is, I have Carthener's Gothic. I have two copies of this. Two copies of Carpenter's Gothic. And I don't know, it goes on and on. Down here is my Albert Camus collection, Sartre, uh, Genet, Rambo. There's the essays of Montetang, and uh, it just goes on and on. But I just thought I'd show you the the uh, 29 volumes of Bolzac. It's not, 
I don't have the whole 40 volumes of his works, but I was kind of pleased. It was a decent price for him. They're all in great condition. So yeah, this is the lower level. You've seen this. The, the uh, Somebody wanted to see another video of the lower level. And uh, it hasn't really changed much. It's just full of books. And uh, by writers. Like, uh, that's all Joyce Carol Oates. These, these three shells. And up there is Norman Mailer. Larry Brown over there. Stagner, Peter Matheson, Jim Harrison. Over here is Jack Kerouac and Hunter S. Thompson and uh, William Burroughs. Uh, up there is the Thackeray's works and Trollope. This is all in Trollope down here. This goes on and on. This section over here is like American, early American history. Over there, colonial history. It's John Wayne. These are all Puritan works. Thomas Goodwin's works. Thomas Matton's. William Bates. There's Bunyan. John Bunyan's up there. And, and uh, yeah, these are all by writers. Like these are all the Fulgate Reader, these are his books, and Rebecca West, her writings, these are all by Stax, and uh, Philip Kerr, I collect his writings, and uh, so yeah, these are all, this is all Virginia Woolf, and Leonard Woolf, so yeah, you go here. These are all my Christian books here. And then, as you've seen the lower level, these are all my commentaries on the New Testament, Old Testament, Biblical studies, Old Testament. It just goes on and on. And of course, there's really poor lighting down here. That's why I need to, if I could afford it I'd get new lighting but I can't afford it so this bookshelf here it's all dark you can't see anything but the lower level really hasn't changed much there's Henry James up there Faulkner uh, Dennis Johnson uh, Joseph Mc McElroy uh, Penelope Lively and uh, this is all history, European history, American history down here, American history. This is all different kinds of books. And uh, Christian books reference John Calvin's commentaries. There's Baxter's works, Richard Baxter, the Puritan. It's all Nietzsche stack. And uh, these are all Penguin classics. And this is all poetry down here. And this is all Voldman and T.C. Boyle. Down there is James Joyce. These are all books on the spiritual life up there. These are all books by William Boyd, a, a, a British writer. These are all books on uh, this, my Timothy Leary biographies, my Anthony Burgess collection, and you know, Ezra Pound. And then it goes back here, bookshelves. So this is a lower level. It really hasn't changed much. It's just books but i was really pleased to get my uh I guess those 29 volumes of bozak i want to get victor hugo's works and edgar Allan poe hope they come in 
So yeah, over here is John Updike. Up there, Saul Bellows. Uh, Cormac McCarthy is down here. Richard Rusco. This is all Graham Green down here. Down there is Marikami. Ne Negatov is down there. So yeah, so this is the lower level, over here is church history, this is all church history, Puritans, Jonathan Edwards, and the, down, down there is the Russians and all kinds of books, but this is the lower level, it's kind of cluttered but hey, yeah, over here is like Jane Bowles and uh, Paul Bowles. You have Thomas Mann. Up there is D.H. Lawrence, all his books. John Cheever. Here's uh, Sylvia Path. Then you have uh, La Lasso, South American writer. and. And you go back over here is all John Calvin studies. And uh just I just this is my life books. So somebody wanted to see the lower level, this is the lower level. Once again, I was pleased to get 29 volumes of Bozak, the comedy, humane, or scenes from a Parisian life. So, hope you're having a good reading week. Today is, what is today? Today is a Tuesday. I think it's the 13th of December. And it's in, the, it's early afternoon. Up oh, there's the bird clock. It's going on one o'clock. So, I read this yesterday at the book nook, Monday. Uh, How I Became a Socialist by William Morris. I read that yesterday at the book nook. So, that's my that's my table. And uh, so I'll sign off. And till next time. I know this is kind of crazy, but hey, this is reality. <laughs> Bye.